My mother's here. Welcome to the SOL, the satellite of laughs, as we like to call it. <laughs> We've tied up Mike and jammed an oily rag into his mouth so that we may bring you the following joke. <laughs> you see, if you live long enough, eventually someone's going to say the word Thunderdome in your presence. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And I'm guessing most of you aren't equipped with a snappy comeback. Well, we're going to give you one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll act it out for you. <clears throat> Boy, I still think we really screwed up on that whole Thunderdome fiasco. Oh, come on. Can't we just get beyond Thunderdome? <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> now, as you can see, your stooge can't mention the movie Beyond Thunderdome, because that just ruins the whole joke. You'll just have to wait until someone mentions a Thunderdome, not the specific one in Beyond Thunderdome. <laughs> also, it really helps if your stooge speaks of a Thunderdome in a disparaging manner, as in our little playlet. <laughs> It'll still work if he speaks of a Thunderdome in a positive light, but if I were you, I'd wait till somebody slams a Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> now let's move on to the Rangoon version of this classic joke. Oh, yes. Yeah, real funny. You guys finished yet? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, why? <laughs> well, usually your little riffs tend to go on and on. Maybe oh, a little... please, Mike. Can we get beyond the riff? <laughs> <laughs> Don't... <laughs> That's it. Go to your room, both of you. Huh? Hey, what the... Hey. What's going on? What? Oh, are you still there? Oh, that's right. I forgot to disconnect the umbilicus. Look out, mother. Oh, oh well, we can see with you. Huh? huh? Who cut the umbilicus? Uh, Why? You can't disconnect the umbilicus. <laughs> we'll die. Oh, nonsense. You'll be pulled into Earth's gravitational field. Your orbit will decay. The hull will rupture. You'll burn to a crisp. And then you'll die. <laughs> what? You, you can't do that. We've done everything you've ever asked. We watched every bad movie you sent up here. Yeah. Sorry. Bye-bye. You said you'd let us get back to Earth. Did I say that? Hmm. Well, maybe I did. What do you want? I'm evil. Well, this is kind of sudden. Look, I'm really very sorry. My hands are tied. I got a letter today. My funding has been cut, and you guys just aren't cutting the mustard, so... Well, I'm gonna make another trip over. Uh, I think I found Frank. Oh, no, Mother, that's Frank's spare head. Uh, why don't we just put that in storage? Got it. <sighs> I'm moving back in with Mom to save some scratch. At least her building has a pool. I'm sorry, what was the problem? How can you do this to us? Ah, uh, criminy, I got an idea. What are we supposed to do now? I don't know. Do what you always do. Look, I've got to fill out these change of address cards. Well, I'm going to take another load over. Back in a few. Boy, I'm glad I never got rid of the big rig. Anyway, guys, uh, your orbit will begin to decay in about two hours, so I've uh, downloaded a film from the ship's internal memory. Uh, it's called Laser Blast, and Leonard Malton gives it two and a half stars. Well, now what? Buster engines firing! We now have impulse power! 
How did you do that? I took the governor off. <laughs> we have helm, Captain. <laughs> now we drink Earth's atmosphere, hull temperature critical. Do we have enough power to escape the atmosphere? Uh, we won't have control. We'll be shot into deep space. I got to have more time. We don't have that time. Get ready to engage warp engines, Mr. Crow. Aye, aye. Engage. Oh, oh we got side. moving! He's oh, moving side! I didn't engage the thing with you. <laughs> this a Vamuel Goldwyn production. I had uh, an infection of the Yablons one time. <laughs> ah, the Charlie Daniels Band is now the Charles Band. If you ever go down to the Woolly Swamp. <laughs> Terrible name for laser eye surgery. Scares away the customers. <laughs> Come on down to Mill Ford. Free popsicles for the kids. So what, they just got people from data entry to be in this movie? Johnny Russo, I remember her from, uh, maybe not. The Keenan wind comes blowing in. You are the wind beneath my Keenan. <laughs> oh, isn't he the guy? Brother of Bob, Mike Enko. Ah, so you know it won't be funny. Heir to the Arnold Stang fortune. As Dr. Cassaba Mellon. <laughs> Brother of Neil Steve Enko. Bro. I saw a wool man drinking a pina colada at Trader Vicks. Wow, Roddy McDowell and Dave Allen. No reason for them to tell me all this. I'm no good at names. Oh, is he an American band? I hope he comes to our town and helps us party at town. Well, these credits give you a chance to finish your popcorn, talk a little, decide to see another movie. <laughs> Music has a decidedly Hawkwind feel to it. I think it's more like a sort of a Mike Oldfield, McHenry Spring, Rick Wakeman, Jean-Michel Jarre, Keith Emerson, Gentle Giant, uh, Tomita Audubon, Kraftwerk, synergy sort of thing. I certainly hope we see those credits at the end of the movie, too. And... Action. Cut. Beautiful. <laughs> These planes were once filled with wild broccoli like this. Mm. Fievel goes west. Oh, looks like Trent Reznor ran out of gas. Poor guy. It was after the Acropolis. Roxy! <laughs> Somebody please pull this garbage disposal off my arm. Ah, oh, Robert Smith is in a good mood today. <laughs> Edward CD player hand. Boy, the Hulk has lost weight. Remember when he was over there? That was a good part of the movie. <laughs> Man, if I could just get some butter to slip in there, try to slide this thing off. Well, back to whatever I was doing. Hmm? Norelco's plan for world domination. Even its name spells Merry Christmas. I'm hunting spacecraft. <laughs> we wish to welcome you to Denver's airport. Hmm? Oh, great. E.T. calls, we come, and he's not here. Hey, Yertle, you left your shell in the ship. Hey. Hey, Wally. Come out here, help me find Roswell. Hey, get my shirt all stretched out. I told you to ask directions at the Gorlon station at Zingding 5, but no, you blatzine the head of that guy on bar tool. Just past this football. Stop reading my thoughts. Are you reading my thoughts? <laughs> Look out! It's Gino Vanelli. Tonight on a very special Virginian. Good shooting, Xanthar. Thanks, Denise. Ah, Christina's World, 3001. Help me, Spock. Spock. I know what you're thinking. Did I fire six Gorlocks or only five? Okay, Crow, that's, that's enough. <laughs> <gasps> the key to the Amico bathroom. Am I good, huh? Who's the king? 
Regarde ici! Oh, I love airplanes. Is that a Cessna? No, I think it was a Piper. Now let's get out of here. Uh, might have used a little too much buckshot here. Ruined the meat. Closer shave, cleaner shave, smoother all the way. Help! A giant bong is attacking me! Oh. Mike, this is how I've always pictured your room. Am I far off? <laughs> well, well, off to weight loss clinic. Get him off me! Get him off! Oh, it's just my sheets. Hmm. Somehow his mustardy shorts don't help. <laughs> These are relatively clean, I guess. Oh, hi. Crap, I'm still in oh, hi. Randy Johnson? Oh, it's her. So, here's my slim fast, metrical, correct all. Excuse me, are you my mother? Uh, here is her food supply for the month. In the train case right there. Flesh is a nice color for a house. Ooh. Sean Cassidy in Walking Tall. Where are you headed, Tubbo? Stay and have a quiz with me at the junkie table. Ah! ah! She's one of the turtle aliens. I'm sorry I called you fat. Come on, let's pop Amos and watch Days. Man, if those pants blow, it's going to be like a piano exploding. I've um, got this invitation to go to Acapulco. Yeah, that bounced off his head. <laughs> it's just too good to miss. You got your James Spader lessons and... Well, my chemical peel is starting to hurt. I'd better get going. What do you want? Mama, you've been to Acapulco. How many times do you want to go to Acapulco? Till they stop asking me, sweetheart. And until I stop killing men with my hip bones. Oh, I hate you. There's a box of Weetabix. That should last you the month. I'm going to go untie the Nazi helmet for the roof. Is this under all aversion therapy? You can actually see her lose weight. Huh? Ah, now on to movie three. <laughs> hey, Kung Fu got a van. Another slice of your life here, Mike? Huh? Just you, <laughs> ribbon a highway, your Dixie Dregs tapes? <laughs> well, I'm a friend of the stranger in the back sedan. He's so happy his dingle ball shipment came in. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Lee Preston takes a solo. Wow, 70s gold is a great buy. A lot of good stuff on here. I'll warrant that van is still on the road. Hey, Gary. Hey, Jason. Hey, Scotty. Woo! Ah, downtown Hugo. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is the long version of whatever the heck song this is. We're gonna go around the block until the song's over. This guy killed himself when the Edgar Winter group broke up. This guy has put more rolled up towels under more doors. And this is one of the most innovative synth players I know of. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sunny day, got a pleasant buzz going. Hey, mate. Mm -hmm. huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Wait, I gotta stop and listen to this part. It's so cool. Hey, his van's got a poop catcher on the back. <laughs> wow, and you thought Willie Ames was hot. Whew. Yeah, I did. Jeez, stupid realtor job. I'm sure I gotta wear a shirt just to show a dumb house. Hey, Spicer, I'm here for the dope. <laughs> Dopes. It's me, Billy. He woke up Ram Das. Password. It's mm -hmm. me, Colonel, Billy Duncan. I just want to see Kathy. Buy your own paper. You get off of these premises. Oh, come on, Colonel. I only want to see Kathy. What about? I want to see if Electra tore up her new shoes. Oh, that's private. <laughs> that's private. It's Yukon Cornelius. Hmm. What is this stuff you're pulling on me? You're just like those guys, those white collar guys down there at Cherry Point. Keenan started early today. <laughs> Everything is hush hush. Sweet Charlotte. Operation Sand Dust. Hush hush. Sweet Charlotte. Everybody connected with it. Hush hush. Sweet Charlotte. Everybody except me. Because I know something they didn't know I knew. Hey. Now you get away from that. Hey, look, just because that mine went off in your helmet. And <laughs> bastards are all alike. With your disguises and your tricks and your hula hoops. Pony ideas. Yeah. Colonel. You just call Kathy. Now you leave Kathy out of this! You leave 
Uh, uh, Julie. Oh, gee, what's what's her name? I just said it. Uh, uh, thing. Boy, ever since the colonel got back from the Spanish-American War. I know. I'll seek refuge in 20 explosive hits by 20 explosive stars. Operation Sand Dust. Yeah, Anna Nicole Smith and her husband. Operation Sand Dust. Oh, black water, keep on rolling. Is that Billy? Come on, your pork backs are ready. Grandpa? Snap out of it, you old bastard! Come on inside. Why'd you open all the cans of soup, Grandpa? <laughs> the Army of the Potomac has us on the run, sweetie. <laughs> His 8-track's about to change tracks. <laughs> oh, yeah. You do a lot of wacky tobacco mics, huh? <laughs> a lot of Mary Jane, <laughs> huh? Oh, Jokey yeah, smoky. <laughs> uh. What do you keep smoking that stuff for? Garski and Hutch have been together a little too long. Don't cost nothing. I take it from those kids. Now you keep smoking that, you're going to get us thrown off the force. <laughs> Look, are you ready for some football? <laughs> <laughs> you ever notice how Heli Selassie is God? Now you're getting horny. Great. Hey, <laughs> that feels good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, give me a puff. And I gotta go home and get ready for some football. <laughs> no doubt that I think of it, Sister Mary Elephant is really funny. Now well, they targeted this movie to lonely bass fishermen. In other words, bass, bass fishermen. fishermen. Wow. Who was that? I think it's that Bill Duncan. Hmm? Bill Duncan kid, huh? Yeah. Well, let's go get him. Let's find out if he's ready for some football. <laughs> Ah, the famous squealing tires on a dirt road. You idiot! I'm a dumb scrawny cracker. <laughs> They're at least as funny as Cheech and Chong. Mm, oh, definitely. Ron Howard pops the clutch signals, checks both ways, and proceeds gently into traffic, politely inviting people to eat his dust. He looks like a bush baby. <laughs> I'm gonna push it up to 17. My heart is in my throat. Oh wait, that's not my heart. <laughs> Pull over, squeal like a pig. <laughs> All right, force him over. And quit scanning me. <laughs> oh, a horse and knuckle breakfast almost came up. <laughs> you know, Mike, it's hard not to make a Dukes of Hazard comment. Yes, try, honey. I will. Show me the way to the next whiskey bar. Suddenly, I long for a Hal Needham film. Yeah, what do we got? Another citizen who isn't ready for some football. <laughs> nice hinder. Hmm. <laughs> wow, it's not a very good detail painting. You never learn, do you, boy? Hey, can't you let me go just this once? I'm going to blow my insurance. I'm already paying double. Yeah, that's all right. Your mama's got enough money. Kind of heavy set, though, ain't you? By the way. How is your mama these days? I think I resent your attitude. Never mind. Just give me the ticket, Officer Unger. Stand there, boy. I'll make you a star. Yeah, eat me a fuzzy marshmallow. <laughs> hey, you know cursive. You ticket for going 20 and a 30. Well, you'll excuse me. There's a bag of mama burgers waiting for me. <laughs> oh, man. It's uphill to the car. I don't know if I can make it. Put your entire head in his belly button. <laughs> Do we get him again, Pete? No. Too damn hot. Anyway, all my rowdy friends are coming over later. <laughs> Dirty and hairy. <laughs> when you first saw this, you laughed so hard you spilled your bong water, didn't you, Mike? Callahan, no! Oh, those lovable Southern California crackers. Hi, I'm Max Keller. He should rub salt on those leeches on the side of his family. <laughs> well, I better stock up on Ollie Joe Prater and Jerry Clower tapes. He's going to get a new baseball cap with a fake dog turd on it. <laughs> 
Hey, it's that gas station that Frank Lloyd Wright didn't design. <laughs> wow, if there was ignorant talk radio in the 70s, I sure would agree with it. <laughs> Those boot cut jeans from Moon Boots? You're in Carpenter's phone booth. <laughs> Okay, I'll give you your Coke. Stop hitting me. I'm going to drink the hell out of this Coke. Coca-Cola's going to need a PR campaign just to undo the damage this scene is doing. <laughs> oh, man. Leaf Garrett did more harm than he'll ever know. Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> hey, you wouldn't believe what just happened to Dealey Plaza. Wow, he teases the gas pumps mercilessly. Well, let's recap the movie so far. Somebody went to Acapulco, and somebody almost bought gas. <laughs> Just when I was considering not committing suicide, it was finally coming together for me. The accelerator pedal stuck. Help us! <laughs> hey, you want to go drive around gas station with us? You see, is that early this morning, Froggy? I bet he ain't got our reason, Chuck. No, he wouldn't like that kind of party. It's a little too He's rough easy. for him. <laughs> I've been up all night, and I don't feel sleepy. Hey, Frog, do you think our boy here would like to give us a little race? Okay. Billy, hell, he never races. Who the hell told you that? I'll show you a race. Just let me get in my dad's electric supply van. <laughs> an inverted world where the spazzes make fun of the cool guys. <laughs> Stephen Stills and Bill Gates. <laughs> much handicap you want. <sighs> ah, the Sinclair station is open. They got an air hose. <laughs> Makes me glad rural America is dying. Wipe <laughs> 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 out. Oh, Get away from me, you little creep! I will not get away. I have been sent here to destroy imperfections. I find you, the gold unit, to be imperfect. Yeah, well, smooch my tiny imperfect... Well, hey, loser, what it is? Ah, I got one of these Nomad satellites on my butt. Yeah, seems you can't go hurtling into the void of space without picking up one of these annoying little busybodies. <laughs> you are in error. Yeah. I am not Nomad. I am a similar design known as Monad. Monad? I should destroy you, but I'll give you a mulligan on that one. Oh. <laughs> what? What? Did you say something imperfect? No, no, I'm sorry. Go on with your story. Stop it! Huh? Cut it out! Look, if you're going to say something imperfect, say it to the group. Oh, no, it's just that I was telling these guys, you know, we're having a little party on Thursday night, a little pop and pizza. I wondered if you'd like to join us. Sure, that sounds great. Ha! Ah, the party's on Friday night, not ah! Thursday. That means you're wrong and imperfect and you have to destroy yourself. You told me a fib. That doesn't mean I'm imperfect. Does, yeah, too. Does not. Does, too. If you were perfect, you would have known he was telling a fib. Yeah. Look, I'm not going to get into this with you clowns. You're imperfect. And I'm just going to destroy the lot of you. Yeah, really I'm so scared. Ah. Come on. Ah. Give me your words. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Come on. 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 Lady, when I'm with you, I'm smiling. Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, 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 oh. Good thing my frost and tip took. <laughs> Pepsi gave him big bucks to place Coke in this movie. <laughs> oh, the Navajos get all the good land. Yeah. Lyle Swan's motorcycle from Time Rider. Huh? Well, I'll just pull up here so that I can find this thing, and then we can get the movie going. I really am just dust in the wind, man. They are so right. Yeah, on his day off from pizza delivery, he sure knows how to live life. I like to call my horse with no name, but doesn't have a name. <laughs> Good God, he's out of coke. Uh, Billy, go to expression B. Funky Winker Bean. <laughs> this is just like the beginning of the film, where it may or may not have been my dream. Oh, where's its mom? Wow, Albert Bell did cork his bad. <laughs> oh, this is so great. I needed hooker headers bad. Think of all the dope I can smoke with this. <laughs> Man, to think I was depressed when Battlestar Galactica got canceled. 
Can't we just visit mom in Alcapulco? Okay. Does he always waltz around when he finds old Thorin's tone arms? Hmm? Hope he's pointing it at his heart. Da da! Someone threw away a perfectly good arm remover. <laughs> Da, 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 da. A Daisy Red Rider repeating rifle. Thanks, Dad. Now, let's go find some ptarmigan. Hmm? Pow, pow, pow. After all that, it's pow, pow, pow. <laughs> Once you're over the age of 11, you should not say pow. Mm. Pow, pow. Please, pow. stop. stop it. Oh, Come on. Don't, don't. No, no, no. Oh, I think he's doing Frampton Comes Alive. <laughs> it's even worse. So, it's a thing that makes you waltz. <laughs> I guess. Won't he be surprised when he finds out it doesn't go, pal, but... Swish! <laughs> oh, found it. Now he has carte blanche to the Amico men's room. <laughs> Hopefully that thing has a shirt buttoning attachment. <laughs> Pow? <laughs> Do the apes know they're filming in the Forbidden Zone? Ah. One of Mr. T's understated pieces. You know, those apes who stack boxes to get to the bananas figure mm -hmm. things out a lot faster than this. Yeah. I think you are going to detail my van for $75. <laughs> What's that? You want me to go to gym class? I don't think so. I think I'll have that leather vest, my friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. By the way, we seem to be involved in laser blasting now. Right. Moses. Yes, Yahweh in a can. If you want to summon Yahweh... <laughs> Uh, you might want to calibrate your iron sights. Kind of pulling to the right there. <laughs> That's okay. Just a 2,000-year-old saguaro. Don't worry about it. It's Georgia O'Keeffe's massive limousine. <laughs> Ah, your film crew, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You want a Dick Butkus mug? A little orange ball for your aerial? Hello? The Bill Bixby line of David Burney clothing. <laughs> Excuse me, I just got crabs from your toilet. Oh, look at all the eight tracks for Annie and Teicher, Captain and Tennille. <gasps> Warren, I. Oh, it's you. Oh, I owe you. Uh. That'll be, uh. Oh, no, let's see. Uh, five bucks for the butt so nudge. Uh, sorry, I didn't hear you coming. That'll be 11.15 with the oil. Here's my Merle Haggard visa. I assume you take that. <laughs> oh, my new club magazine. I should wait till I get to the hotel. But just... Thank you, Mr. Craig. I threw in the nudie calendar for free. How far is it to the nearest hotel? You stopping here? I could be persuaded. You don't like this town, buddy? Oh, sure, sure. Just a few blocks to the end of town, there's a motel. Or there's the Ziffel B&B, &B. that's nice. You could go down... Oh, sorry. So we just drove off and I never saw him again. The beautiful, sweet man in the Palm Beach suit. <laughs> just drove out of my life. She's floating. Get my motor running, head out on the highway. <laughs> oh, pretty steep grade here. Oh, <laughs> I'm in the weeds here. <laughs> I know she's there. Now don't lose her. Hold on. Don't. Ah. There she is. The air feels nice when I ride like this. He 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 he. Billy told me he'd meet me at the old creosote dump site. Well, the county really provides good service at those picnic sites. Look, a bottle of Beaujolais. Hey. And I'd like to buy some sweet corn. Billy. Or I'd like to buy a Turkish rug. Did they need to come to Angkor Wat just to have a picnic? Mm -hmm. Well, I might as well pray to Val while I'm here. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Well. Hey, say Billy again. That'll liven things up. Well, maybe I'll pick up a dozen sucker minnows while I'm here. Oh, well, he hasn't been cremated. <laughs> Oh, did my parents burn down the house and move away? So we're watching someone waiting for someone. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a point when it stops being a movie. It's like watching an aquarium. Yep. This is so something. Suddenly that scene out in the desert seems taut and well executed. This relationship fresh. See, now that scene worked because you expected a bear to jump out. Oh, you're more trouble than you were. Am I? Am I? I'll kill you for saying that. I'll kill you, I tell you. Oh, oh, there's a folding shovel in there. <laughs> well, you don't look like the cat that swallowed the cream. Where have you been all morning? Jeez, her bra looks like a pair of sunglasses. Not waking people up at the crack of dawn, I hope. Oh, that's where they found Tony Orlando. It's crow. Can't you be more ordinary? <laughs> more ordinary? Man, you'd have to work at that. Grandpa's so mad right now. Mm -hmm. He says he's going to shoot you on sight next time he set foot on the property. Ah, we have someone to root for. Mm. I do believe if you were more ordinary, though, you wouldn't be my Billy, would you? <laughs> so peaceful here. Mm. She was always this way. Mm -hmm. Just you and me in the sky. Dog named like Boo. A cup. A giant blue cup. Yeah. Yeah, look, can we start mashing now? Pour the drinks. Pour it out. Just what I want to see. David Soul and Sandra Locke going at it. <laughs> There's something so dark in you sometimes. Just sends shivers up my spine. Like when you crank Don't Fear the Reaper. <laughs> oh, jeez. Nature videos of big spiders going at it are more appealing. Crazy? You want to be late? So what? For Fanny's birthday party. We're all due there about three. Yeah, I don't want to go to no party. Come on, I'm cooking a pizza on the engine block. Well, Mr. Billy Duncan, if you don't want to go, I could always accept an invitation by a certain Chuck Baran. Over my dead body. Yes, yeah. oh, yeah. please, please, yes. please, please, please. What's this? I think it's the Sturman. Does that sound right? Yeah, I don't know. Could be something bit me when I was... When you was what? I was fooling around in the desert. But the desert gave you a hickey? You better put something on there. It looks pretty mean. He died. Meanwhile, on Quark. <laughs> you record? Yeah. Loved it. I'm thinking of getting an ass reduction, Ted. <laughs> you ever just curse evolution? Our store named Radio Shack is just crap. Adjust the comb filter here. So this is DSS, huh? Howdy do! Hey, read between the lines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your move, sir. You called us. Don't start. Who's going? Who's Well, did you? Oh, uh, please, sir, we've seen Laser Blast. This is how advanced the aliens are. They can edit the scene down. <laughs> Boy, when the movie starts showing you parts of itself, you know you're in trouble. Look what the hairy nobut is doing, the fool. Their puny human butt pods fell off thousands of years ago. Uh, thank you, sir. I think we get the gist of it. Uh, is there a point to your little call, sir? Sir? You get out there and sell, sell, sell. That's me. I admit it. <laughs> this beautiful panel could be yours. Yeah, well, back to Earth. Same old, same old. Iron Eyes Cody. 
Oh no, it's Michael Landon. What else could go wrong? Good thing my slacks have memory. <laughs> Engelbert Humperdinck on a very personal journey. Huh. Well, I thought I was supposed to film a Territon commercial out here. Did ancient astronauts make dirt bunnies? <laughs> Another Buddhist monk. It's Coleman Francis Mountain. Well, I've come to where the flavor is, but nothing's happening. Place in France where the <laughs> Place in France where the ladies. <laughs> place in France. I wish it'd stay in one key. There's a place in France. And I wish they'd finish a phrase now and again. <laughs> There's a place in France where the ladies wear no pants. Hey, bring it down now. Talk about that place in France. Hey, where the ladies ain't wearing no knickers at all. Hey. Well, who wants cake? Oh, man. If Polly Shore is in this. Yes, teens love their cake pool parties. <laughs> it's not really a good chip in the <laughs> They're so excited they can barely talk to each other. Look, why don't I slice some and you can all come back in about 10 minutes and I'll be ready. <laughs> Scott Bale class. Get your red hot Franks here. Mama wouldn't Chuck like to give you his red hot Frank right? From what I hear, Chucky, it ain't so hot. He's got out the David. She undercut the subtle nuance of my wiener joke. <laughs> there. I think I've taught you not to rebuff my wiener innuendos. Mercifully, the wiener debate ended peacefully, but it could have gone another way. She really opened up the party. Now it's fun. <laughs> hey, Stoker, Murphy, Gubba. Mm. All movies are more tightly edited than this. It's never far from his trusty van. Oh, God, you're fatter than mom. How about a swim? In a minute. I feel kind of lazy right now. <laughs> oh, thank you for saying that. That was so sweet. Well, at least he dressed up for the party. Should we ask what the bruises are from? Billy, Billy, watch me die, Billy. Billy, I'm going to dive in the pool. Watch, 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 watch. We're going home. The movie isn't fun anymore. Hey, I can go under the water and count to five. Whee! Hey, Billy, Billy, hey, Billy, Billy. I am so baked. <laughs> yes, it's a Manson family reunion. Oh, hey, here's something. Oh, oh. oh, man, those brownies must be loaded. Uh, it's Rover from the prisoner. <gasps> Smaller. Now, I myself have never been a natural frolic. No, oh, I don't strike me. Come on. Hey, leave me alone. I'm not kidding. So, what, is the alien hiding at the end of the pool? Is or not? I guess... Just eat your spare ribs in the pool. Okay. That's fine. Bike rack! Ooh. Ooh. Ow. I wonder why no one wants any cake. Cindy, you need to get an eating disorder. Guys like anorexic girls. I'll take a bite. <gasps> Some hmm? birthday. Outside of you, Kathy, I don't think anyone would have come if it weren't for the pool. Be silly, Franny. You've got lots of friends. Yeah, as long as I don't run out of pools. Well, how about all the gay men who like you? Um, I'm gonna go change. Will you tell Billy if he gets up? Oh, she certainly is a sparkling hostess. Mm -hmm. Yes, non-skinny women are inherently so unhappy. The leading spokesman for the dissident army said it would have nuclear capability. Is there been anything on the news about the dissident army While thing? While France today <laughs> exploded its 28th atom bomb. And they tell me cake is bad for me. And what about radiation? Uh, you're fine. What about it? Have you seen Kathy? She went inside to get changed. Oh, I'd stay longer, but you're real fat. Personally, I can never get enough sheet cake. You couldn't hear the darn thing except... Hey, it's the horse kid. Sometimes I worry I'm not shallow enough. 
Boy, he's popular. Mm-hmm. I'm going to burn some cigarettes in my dad's carpet. You leave the movie for the parade of homes? I try to feed him. Yeah, he's lured by the siren song of 70s hits. <laughs> oh, well, you look that, huh? Shapeless mass. Boy, you can really see how he's so dark and not ordinary. Mm-hmm. A teen at a teen party, what could be darker? Guys, I'm back from the rumpus room. Everything checks out. You seen Kathy? No, I haven't seen Hey, how are things in the Blue Lagoon? <laughs> I guess I'll check out the hat collection. Hey, I'm in here! There's a dozen naked teenage girls in there. That's what happens at these teen parties. It's true. Has anyone seen the director? Just looking for a light out here. No one wants to eat cake, and he can't find Kathy. Now the movie is really starting to find its purpose. (gasps) Kathy's jockstrap! (laughs) And Elway takes him down. (laughs) Don't even pretend, Eddie. (laughs) Super, Eddie Deason. (laughs) The Microsoft meeting goes horribly wrong. (laughs) Illegal use of a Deason. Oh, footfall. Be a hero. He wants to fight. He wants to get his head broken. Billy, don't. Be a hero. Please, nothing happened. Please, please, for me. Leave him alone. I was thinking that Gilbert got... Hey. What's going on? I don't know, Kim, but give me rocket number nine. Man, we've hit a field of star babies, and one of them's got the ship. Wow, he's upset. He must need changing. I thought I smelled something. All right, here's the plan, man. You got to get out there and change that baby's diaper. I'll walk you through the procedure from here. Go, 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 well, hello, little baby. Oh, baby needs changing, doesn't he? Bro, <laughs> snap out of it, man. You cannot get personally involved. Okay, Mike, we've located the diaper tabs. We're pulling the diaper off. Servo, wait. Huh? Do you have the clean diaper in your hand ready to go? Oh, yeah, thanks, Mike. <laughs> okay, the clean diaper is at the ready. Crow is pulling the dirty diaper away. Roger, tearing tabs and taking off dirty diaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, Nelson, we've got a problem. The diaper leaked. It went all the way up his back. Oh. Okay, okay, we'll get you through this. Failure is not an option. Now slip the clean diaper under his bottom. What about the baby wipes, Mike? We've got to clean him up. Okay, fine, but hurry up. <laughs> They're done and done. All right, now seal him up and get out of there. There. Star baby is diapered, Mike. Oh, what should we do with the dirty diaper, Mike? Uh, I don't know. Put it on a shelf somewhere. Oh, boy, we got movie sign. Let's move, man! Good job, Tom. You could have waited for oh, us, Mike. Well, I just I need to get in here. Is a cat laying on the organ or something? Great, he lives next to Alan Parsons. I'm not Adam Rourke. <laughs> Powered by a 20 horse Evan Rude, this Dodge Charger re- <laughs> Love the one you're with. Love the one you're with. <laughs> I don't know. Shamil, Shamazel, whatever. Anybody? I climbed up here on the cliff and I can't get down. Can you call somebody? Uh, I got my ankle caught between two rocks. <laughs> I'm pretty stuck. Hello? Anybody? I had the most marvelous time. <laughs> I'll bet. He's overlooking something, isn't he? Dennis Cole. His horn is caught in some kind of bebop rhythm. Hey, Froggy! Just let me decent and buy ya. <laughs> Billy's so good, he'll just wait up there until you call him. I am the Lizard King. Oh, 
Sorry, he had it on high. <laughs> so how many cars did he blow up? <laughs> wow, must have the wrong size air filter. That was Cochise's charger? <laughs> <laughs> the loss of any Dodge Charger is an awful thing. Yeah, they thought the spent plutonium rods would be fine in the trunk. Hunger, Chief, you hear me? Great. Dumb cop and dumb cop. They're dumb cops. <laughs> Great, another Larry Storch wannabe here. And how are we doing this morning, information desk? Good. Beats me how you can swallow down a whole hot tamale first thing in the morning. I just feel like you might not be ready for some football. You know what the line in your stomach must look like? Well, it's pink and it secretes a layer of protective mucus. And... Oh, give me a bite. He's eating his own hand. Are you saying I have an oral fixation? Chief Hunger, get in here. Chief Hummer? What? Hmm. Nice of you to show up. You're welcome. I went over to the Walden place and get a statement from Franny Walden about that car blew up last night. Yep, Whopper and Fries. You want anything? Getting handle that? You got it. Thanks. Oh, and hey, let's be careful out there. Hey, they got the name of your favorite band on the side of the car there. <laughs> <laughs> These two were in True West for many years. Mm. God, I think I see a big jackrabbit back there. I'm going to focus on that. Interesting country, the high desert. I think it was pretty lifeless, but there's actually a lot going on. You know, I'd like to hear about it sometime. Oh, well, we got time now. <laughs> we should probably get back to the movie. Oh, I suppose we're right. I shot the Mio, but I didn't shoot the other guy. Is that Fish's wife typing? Bernice! Fish, what are you doing, typing a novel? Banging away as usual, sir. <laughs> That's funny every morning. <laughs> This movie packs the unflinching humor of a Dick Brown panel. <laughs> hey, look, he's got electric paneling. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Hey, the other car in town. I think they were going for a touch of evil feel, but they got a touch of something else. <laughs> <laughs> the president stops at the Westward Ho. Why did he take the long way around? Let's see, that, took, that one's locked, too. I gotta go get a hanger. Go through. They've really captured the stark beauty of this town. You know? And action. Action! One in here. Hi, your copier down? <laughs> what can I do for you, fella? I presume you've heard of Tattletail. First, you take your feet off the desk. Second, take the cigar out of your mouth. And third, you stand up. Fourth, you lick me. Who the hell are you? Now, let me show you my Sam's Club membership. The man bearing this wallet is crazy. Do nothing he says. Excuse me, Mr. Big I didn't know. I gotta go buy Fish's laxative. Wow, who's the skirt? Mm. Won't you uh, sit down, sir? They may sit down, they may not. Sheriff, where are you currently buying your office supplies? <laughs> if I were to ask you if anything unusual happened here in the last 24 hours, what would you say? I don't know, nothing much. Except for the aliens landing. I did get this call about a car blowing up over the old Walden place, but... Uh, and Chuck can put his fist in his mouth. I mean, it's just uh, kid stuff, you know, a prank, kids fooling around. I want a list of everyone up at the house when it happened, and I want the town sealed off. What do you mean, Mr. Craig? I mean no news flashes, no news leaks, no news period. Mm. Unless I say otherwise. Understood? I understand, tan man with wallet. Understood. Hey, it's new shirt day. <laughs> Good thing my Zantigo salary affords me an endless supply of cars. Hey, Ford stands for fix or repair daily. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so bad today, Billy. I feel so ah, good. I feel no. like an idiot going to the doctor. What about the lump on your chest? Oh, that's my nipple. Well, I got it from the Franklin Mint. <laughs> my God, Billy, it's bigger. You know nothing of my chest holes. Yeah, it seems like 
Well, Dr. Mellon, it is. Dude, I'm a dork. <laughs> okay, got it. Please. Oh. Tonight on a very special Roddy McDowell Hospital. Hey. Well, it's big, but not as big as mine. So you have a doorbell on your chest. Mm, I was in a monkey suit, and suddenly I was in this movie. Ah. Mm. Dear God, Mrs. Miller was a long, long time ago. Can I get dressed now, Dr. Miller? Certainly, bright eyes. Oh. Mm. No, not yet. It is a plaw. Come in the other room. Take off my clothes. Lie down, buddy. But don't rip the paper. I'd like to save it. Well, I'm going in. Ding dong. Operation. Remove wrenched ankle. Mm. <laughs> what if I stomp up and down on your chest? Well, it looks as if you have an impacted wood tick. Frankly, Billy, I'm baffled and grossed out. Ding dong. Ding dong. It appears to be growing into a Wizard of Oz commemorative plate. Uh, come in. <laughs> Do you feel that? Oh. Well, medical science has done everything possible. Goodbye. Quite frankly, uh, I don't know why I took this Billy, role. I must confess, I am puzzled. That is uh, quite close to the surface. Ooh. And what I would like to do is uh, try to remove it, if that's all right with you. Mm -hmm. Sure, Doc. Whatever you think. Okay. Let me grab a big melon baller here. Really <laughs> dig in there. Now, what I'm going to do is give you a local to anesthetize the area. It won't hurt. Well, it will. I, I lied. And he delivers on his promise to give him a local. Duh, why did I do that? Now I have to fill it up again. Toodles. <laughs> The hell, I've never seen one of these. You're good, got the nose hair trimmers, the toenail clip here. Wow, how green was my valley was a long time ago. Oh, I spoke many a great doobie with this, yes. Now, the makeup may have to be patched after this, but there shouldn't be any scarring. Well, it's a St. Paul Winter Carnival medallion. Hmm. Hair shift. Now, you be careful. That doesn't get infected, huh? Uh -huh. You okay, Billy? Sure. Doc patched me up just fine. Uh, oh, uh, uh, by the way, uh, give me a call in a couple of days because I ain't going to run that specimen over to Springfield myself tonight and I'll have the answer in about 12 hours. Thanks, Doc. Okay. Yes, thank you. They're at the kitty clinic. Would you mind cleaning up the examining room? I was getting into my ape roll and I threw some crap around. <laughs> uh, I've got to see if Beyond the Valley of the Planet of the Apes is a go. Get Mike? Oh, God, I caught you at lunch, huh? <laughs> mm. Surprised you noticed something like uh, lunchtime. How are you, Doc? Long time no see. Here, do uh, something with that. L listen, um, Mike, I, I want you to do me a favor. Sure, Doc. Shoot. Sure. Well, I would like to bring a specimen over tonight and... <laughs> no! Uh, no, after hours. I'm, I'm afraid it'll be around midnight. But would you wait? I'll be wearing my pen uh, Is that important? It could be. It probably isn't. But I, I'll get there as soon as I can, but I am afraid it will be after midnight. I would be letting it all hang down. Thank you. Ooh. All right, goodbye. Wait, I'm a lens crafter technician. What does he want with me? Again, true to his word, he delivers the specimen. Mm -hmm. This movie boldly states what it's going to do and does it. Uh, make sure there's a pin spot on Mr. McDowell's right ear. <laughs> this is one of my greatest specimens. I almost hate to give it away. Man, he's just begging to be abducted. It's George Jones as a Walmart greeter. <laughs> All righty then. Don't do that. Roddy McDowell is Silkwood. Wow, he's really overdriving his headlights. 
Oh no, his car turned into a sedan and crashed and exploded. We show you the scene to represent what would have happened. So this is how Roddy McDowell died? He's not dead. Oh. Well, at least he was wearing his seatbelt. I believe this is Mannix, if I'm not mistaken. Answer up. Answer up? I need another neck rub. <laughs> Shut up, green boy. I can't believe you said that to me. It's a silver cactus oven mitt. You know anything that'll shrink the swelling? Cool. Hey, we used to have one of these in school. Isn't that doorknob abnormally high? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here so late? I'm calibrating my interferometer. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. <laughs> I've got to find out what time it is. Oh. He could play Gertrude Stein so easy. <laughs> uh, Peggy, would you look up some numbers for me, please? Two and nine. Uh, first see if Dr. Mellon's at home. Wrap him for a hollow sound. If he's not, uh, try the sheriff's office. Michael Caine's puffy sister. <laughs> is this your coin? This movie is comprised strictly of second unit footage. <laughs> hey, uh, we're still having trouble with our copier. This forced perspective is so phony, he's not really that big, you know. We may just save ourselves a mad bomber here. I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Bad movies have taught us that sheriffs hold onto their belts a lot. Mm -hmm. What do you think? We should call the lab in Springfield. Tell them we found what's left of Dr. Mellon. Uh, which Springfield? There's one in every state. Go ahead, you two. Where they present a formidable law enforcement team, I want huh? a list of everybody that's seen the doctor in the last 24 hours. Should I close off the island, I don't think Steve? Somebody lives here did this. Let's get down to work, Sheriff. We're running out of time. What about the rights of that little girl? <laughs> <laughs> hey, your sister wants her shirt back. <laughs> I figured out this kind of shirt. No complicated buttons to deal with. Oh, ow, it hurts to get in my van with these tight jeans. I think we're supposed to like him because he has a van. You know, every time I come close to not hating him, I see those feet on the side of the van. <laughs> ah, they got that antenna to get some Elvin Bishop and Marshall Tucker music. <laughs> Thrill as the police forget something. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, break the stun. It didn't work. He'd make a pretty Sharon Glass. <laughs> He's his own airbag. Oh. Billy, Billy, Billy. Man, forgot what I was going to say. Something good, too. You're getting to be a real Dylan, James, boy. Must not react. Anybody calling for you every place? Uh, I can't hear you through the window. You, I see your lips moving. Where do you think you're going? Nothing. Man, just remember what I was going to say. Anything you say can be used to get you ready for some football! <laughs> I know where you're going. Boy, camel toe! Oh. Oh. Alan Fawcett. I didn't know about Chuck's car being blown up. Chuck's carbon donuts? You no, know, it's what I heard when Kathy <laughs> picked me up this morning. Where'd you go? To Dr. Mellon's. I had the sore on my chest, and mm -hmm. Kathy thought I should let the doctor look at it. I don't like going to doctors, but... Mm -hmm. uh, but it was Roddy McDowell. He made it fun. Do you mind showing us? Well, it's a Calvin Klein ad. <laughs> of course not. He's got a creamy center. Good God. Hey, you're no trip to Hollywood either. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. I'm not ready for football anymore. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. But we've already cast the part. You need a ride back, Billy? No, thanks, Sheriff. I can make it. Man, I could eat him. Tear off the wrapper, pop him in the microwave. One bite. <laughs> Everything seen and heard in this room stays here. Understood? Even the file cabinets? Understood. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. Never seen nothing like that. And I've been to a county seat and everything. What was it? That's just what I'm going to go find out. Glad you could help, whoever you are. I just love these little mom-and-pop sheriff outfits. 
Oh no, another dead dog. I gotta remember to crack a window. I should get my nose sharpened. Ah, uh, they're showing that he's a misunderstood rebel because he doesn't have a ride home. Are you a woman? <laughs> it's a training microscope. Now merge carefully with the flagellum. Put on the delicate cycle here. Now you're right. This data proves I'm a woman. <laughs> a little bit of that. Some of that there. There we go. They're looking at those old, weird, naked daguerreotypes. <laughs> so what do you like? Country or light rock, maybe? Or I want you to know how much this has meant to me, whatever your name is. That's do it tomorrow. I got a tanning appointment. The self-administered eye exam. Aye, sir. Bye, sir. Well, I've given it every test I know. It's the, uh, it's the oddest thing. The oddest thing what? The material is nothing that comes off this earth. There were some traces of burnt flesh, but the uh, mass of it is inorganic. You sure of that? No, I'm really only a dental hygienist. <laughs> Absolutely. And I'll tell you something else if you want to think I'm crazy. I've got grasshoppers taped to my back. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's growing. You're not crazy. Have you found anything to destroy it? Oh, my lord, heavens no, dear. No, oh, darling. Well, goodbye, Mrs. Jordan Baker. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Hope the sex change operation goes all right. And my hair is perfect. Emergency alert one. Tonight on Cops. You know, I saw cops once where they pulled this skinny guy out from under a couch. No. <laughs> This sucks. I was supposed to headline. What now? I can use a coat. I think there are other issues between these two. Oh, man. Who's the well-lit person in back there? <laughs> Say, I got my leg stuck in a mole hole over here. Um, David Bowie. Cool. Yeah, he knows how to use a coat. I'd like to teach the world to get ready for some football. <laughs> Give me some man. <laughs> you. Come on, stop using my Coke. I can use a John. Ah, test audiences responded well to bulbous crackers using the John. This is like Porky's without the charm. <laughs> Oh, good. We get to see him unfurl his pants. Oh, oh, oh. oh, damn. There's only six rolls of toilet paper left. All right. Watch out, Thunderbucket. You're about to meet your greatest challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody stop me. <laughs> oh, can I get a plunger? Duh. Ew, the smell. Wait, save the nut goodies! Save the pine tree air fresheners! Save the dirty trucker tapes! Thinking this and Roddy McDowell ate up about 90% of the film's budget. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just one gas station, but it's four. <laughs> well, they needed to remodel it. If I built a fortress around your heart. Haven't we been through enough? Do you have to invite your van every time we do this? I can hear it breathing. Now, what do they need to grab from the cooler during the act? Was that it? Oh, well, good try. Hmm. How different it all looks, Billy. With my hands and stuff. Billy, you sleep? No. Of course not. I heard every word you said. Oh, then what did I say then? How different it all looks, Billy. God, I hope they forgot to set the parking brake. It's provoking, brake. you know that? <laughs> Whatever yeah, that means. Absolutely positively provoking. Ah, musty army blanket and a pair of dirty sneakers always gets you in the mood, huh? Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, too close, too close. Yeah. He's sucking the snake venom oh. out of some place. Oh, God. 
Hmm? Man, I, I agree with Abby. People should just cuddle. Oof. Oof. What is that? Can you show that? Ah. Oh, Robert Ginty was a better kisser. This movie means two things to me. Sheep cake and back fat. If you could taste what I hear. It's pretty waxy in there today, Billy. I just hope she gets combat pay for this. Oh, well, I'll finish in town. Is it something you should have checked out? I mean, do you think it's physical or mental? Oh, well. Well, I gotta get back to my regiment. <laughs> Shouldn't the lockbox be on the house? What's a hand grenade necklace? Hmm, from the Sarah Coventry collection. Hmm. Now pull the pin and run! Oh, Billy, between you and the motor oil and your B.O. and the scabby hole in your chest, I just love you. These nipples look like jean rivets. Oh, just when I thought he couldn't be less appealing. Well, that fired him up. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't she do that when she was kissing him? <laughs> oh, that was dumb. Oh, hang on. So wow. they're just off County Road C going at it, huh? <laughs> It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it is. It's a black hole! It's a black hole! Oh, of course. You know, I had a feeling about it. <laughs> and we're being sucked towards it, and the short explanation is that we're all gonna die! Oh, 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 oh bitter irony. I just read an article by Stephen Hawking. Oh, oh me crow, embrace me in the moment of oblivion. Don't worry! Mike can help us! He's kind of smart, and his arms work, and everything! Yeah! <laughs> what are we panicking for, huh? <laughs> Mike can fix it? Yeah, he won't let us die. He's frosty in the clutch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we are in deep trouble! Huh? No! Stow it, you two. Mr. Gypsy, status report. Sir, the ship has been trapped in the gravity while the black hole is presently plummeting towards the singularity. Mr. Cambot, red alert. Mr. Gypsy, you're with me. Mr. Servo, you have the con. All right, now what we need to do is realize... Oh, what's he doing with my toy phone? Uh, I, I, I don't know, but don't bother him. Oh, sure, he's gone totally mental, but look how poised he is, how confident. You know, you're right. And he has the subtle allure of a woman in the full flower of early middle age. All right. Ah. I've realigned the Penrose tubes and jettisoned the stream of Einsteinium through the Hawking converter, thereby reversing the Oppenheimer effect and propelling us through the Asimov space curtain. Mr. Kambot, engage. <laughs> Mr. Gypsy, report. We pulled free of the singularity and we turned the plummet out of control and at every increasing speed soared some unknown tube. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> now, Mr. Servo, Mr. Crow, I'm responsible for the lives of 148 crew members aboard this ship, 144 of which we never see. But sometimes, I have to get a little rough. Yeah, that's the way I like it. Rough. Because I never, ever do anything nice and easy. Rolling, rolling, I'm rolling on the river. Away. Oh, I'm slowly. The job in the Very city. slowly and yeah. rough. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Wow. <laughs> yes, we're making restitution to all who had sex with Billy. Although not admitting any wrongdoing, we agree to compensate you for having had sex with Billy. Oh, hold on, give me a second to get crazy here. <laughs> it's Chris Kringle in retirement. Hello, sir or ma'am. Do you uh, need any law enforcement? Tony Craig. That would be a good name for you. Oh, Colonel. A couple of words, I'd say. Oh, come in, come in. Who? Mouse die in your air conditioning? Yeah. yeah, it's mediocre, huh? Figured for a bigger finish. Maybe general? I wet myself today, you wanna see? Yeah. Oh, that old smugglers will sneak up on you. <laughs> I bought the drapes too short, but I found a way to deal with it. Yeah. Oh, hello, have you been yeah, helped? Yeah, they offered me an early retirement. I accepted. Hobson's choice. You know, with Meryl Streep and Kevin Klein cool. and all. 
Sit down, sit down, make yourself comfortable. Can I offer you some pajamas? Oh, what's your problem? Have a drink? How about a little fabric softener for you? <laughs> Oh, I must have lost a quarter in there somewhere. Scenes cut from Roadhouse. <laughs> Let's see what else peeves me. I get that woman who asked me for two forms of ID. <laughs> He insists on bringing his leaf blower everywhere. Oh, he's scooping insects with his baleen. <laughs> wow, he's being outacted by a drain pipe. Okay. Filmed with husbands and wives cam. Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge, the destruction of Jared Sin through the portal of time. <laughs> Where the heck is commercial office suppliers? Oh, goody, my lucky spot. 22 to dispatch. Get round. Get round, children, get loud. You can be proud, yeah, be proud. Your rebel coach is out going to do it again. <laughs> Today only, aliens golf free. <laughs> Get around, get around, children, get down. You can get down, children, get loud. You can get loud and be proud. You can get proud, yeah, be proud. Your ramp goes out. This has got to be the best buggy in town. I can't wait till everybody sees us driving around in this. You know, I can't believe them insurance guys actually believe that stupid story about lightning. Shut up, froggy. You know, Eddie looks like a meerkat. <laughs> Ooh, these cars always look like they have angry faces. <laughs> You know, I can't believe them Springfield dudes would actually believe that story about lightning. I mean, you gotta be stupid Froggy, to actually think shut it. up. Sure, Chuck, sure. Like before when you asked me to shut up. Sure, sure. Come on, just blow the car up. <laughs> Eddie has a special car seat his friend puts him in. Eddie's like a puppy. You just have to keep hitting with a rolled up <laughs> it newspaper. Could be raining. Where? In town, I thought I saw lightning. You knock it off with that lightning crap. <laughs> they are just like Williams and Reed. <laughs> so, Servo, exactly what is the South going to do again? You know, different activities that they have done in the past that they'd like to okay, do, do again. Yeah. 45 speed limit, a plane. Wow, it's all coming together. But this whole scene was just an excuse to play that great music. <laughs> You got me thinking about the South doing it again. It's just the South, okay? So I just asked him. Okay, this the spirit. Hey, look, 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 over there, over there, over there, over there. Look, 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 look. So he's observing the speed limit, I see. <laughs> this is so Coleman Francis right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's taking Eddie to the vet to get fixed. Get down. Are you taking me to the big place? Yes, Eddie, you'll like it at the big place. I know. I'm Cherokee Jack. <laughs> That's Eddie Deason down there. Let's take him out. Uh, we still in the same movie? Hello. Well, this was so great when it was at the Omni Theater. Look, a raccoon. <laughs> Sure, hell, but who are we and what are we doing in this film and why was Eddie Deason waving at us? Tonight on a very special Simon and Simon. Paul says it's just Southern pride, Mike. There's no specific act they're going to do again. I know, that's it fine. Was, yeah. One tin soldier rides away. Ron Howard decides to take out Brother Clint. There, has to be on just right for me. Could Leonard Malton be wrong and this isn't worth two and a half stars? <laughs> that could be a federal offense. Hmm. I'm gonna make that kid button his shirt if it's the last thing I do. I do, I forgot something. Well, Reno gave us the go ahead, let's do it. That's probably someone who did something. Well, let's shoot him. 
Oh, looked like Stuart Copeland for a moment. So, I mean, we shouldn't worry about the South. Don't, don't just lay off the South, okay? It's not really, it's just the feeling. So there's a label maker on top of the laser blaster. <laughs> you know, Mike, this film was run through a highly technical process called tension extraction before it was released <laughs> to the theaters. Or not, I couldn't be sure. Nipple check. Yep, nipples intact. Make sure when you do the scene, you don't direct any of this at the camera. Ego. The son of a bitch is still up. Yeah. We can't get this poster tube off my arm. Hello, Grand Rapids. Are you ready to rock and roll? Oh, we're just spraying paraquat, citizen. Go about your business. Red Zone Cuba 3, the destruction of Cherokee Jack. Hey, where'd they go? Hello? Ooh, that's a good way to tear your rotator cuff. Oh. Would you please blow up? This scene is dragging. There. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much, Indianapolis. We love you. Wow. Oh, that did it. J.D. Power and Associates rank these guys the most loathsome in their class. This is fine right here. I don't want to get any closer to Eddie Deason. Mm -mm. Come on, Chuck. Talk to me. Every time we go to a wedding, we get in a fight. Won't be long now. I get to pick the llama, right? Yes, it's the brand new Weed Whipper 2. <laughs> Honey, isn't that the Johnson boy? What's he doing in our backyard? So servo, I mean... Oh, look, just lay off. You'll see. When the South does rise again, I'll be laughing. Me! Okay, me! All right, all right. Man. Right. So how's this guy undo his fly when he has to go to the bathroom? Okay, get your butt off the window now, Eddie. Apparently Chuck pinned Eddie. <laughs> Is this one of those movies based on a Jane Austen novel? Hey, Chuck, who's the creep? Hey, creep, you want to live? If you give the bum a real treat, a ride he'll never forget. <laughs> yes! Do it. Shoot, shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot Take him. him out! Ah, I'm certain whatever is on his arm is incredibly perilous. Well, we'll never know where they were going now. Well, that was rough going. I think the worst is over. I'll just pull <laughs> over here. Hey, Eddie, hey, Chuck. I like the flames you painted on your... Oh. Okay, no problem. Got it under control. Just pump the brakes gently. There we go. Mm, uh, temperature gauge is running hot. I wonder what that... Oh, yeah. Mind if I crack a window, Eddie? Not to worry. A next stick came with the car. There goes a very gifted shop student. Shame. Something touched me deep inside the day Eddie Deason died. I gotta start monitoring the people I have sex with. Cheryl Ladd in A Soldier's Story. You'll get your drinking badge with this one. <laughs> Come here often. Aren't these places phony? Must be Don't you ever say to me again. <laughs> Don't be a hero! Hi, honey, I'm a cop now. Was Billy in that car? Come on, let's go. Kids. Going home. My baby. Uh. Oh, wait, something wrong with a whammy bar. There we go. My baby. Going home. Steve. Steve. Wait, round it. Oh. Yeah, my first time with Bell Rossamane in that car there. <laughs> it's a Miss Hathaway alien. <laughs> sure, throw that up in my face. <laughs> Up here, brother. Well, I'm not hitchhiking, but if you want to give me a ride, okay. We're going to Iowa City to see the dead. We saw anthrax last night. We got hammered and puked. Mm. 
You know, I should tell you about my ass, gas, or grass policy. Yeah, there I was, 30,000 feet, straight up. Field of frozen yo-yos, and the string broke. Yo-yos. I didn't falter. Just kept on going, man, I knew. I knew Nirvana was straight around the corner. Nirvana. I turned the corner, ran smack into Betty Crocker. She was running across the sky, yelling, you never outgrow your need for milk. I miss Eddie Deason. I looked at her. I said, baby, you're something else. Then I discovered Poco. All right, man, you know what I mean? He's like a lucid Dennis Hopper. What's he doing? <laughs> what? But you get out here, it ain't nothing but rattlesnakes and turtles. You may or may not believe this, but I grow my own Mary Jane. Cousin of yours, Mike? What the? Hmm? Hmm? Well, there's just a sign that says Star Wars. <laughs> Reminding one of the movie Star Wars. Oh. I hadn't finished reading that. Far out. Because hippies are stoned. Stone ah. yeah. Don't camera rig <laughs> on the side of the van. Hey, you got a camera rig on your car! This guy breasts the tape in front of Steve Alamo for loathsomeness. All righty then. <laughs> you kill me, my whole commune will hunt you down, I swear. You are wrong, marijuana breath. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the heater's stuck on full blast, too. <laughs> so the aliens have been sent to Earth to acquire righteous vans. Meanwhile, on a similar road, traffic moves freely. So I wonder what the flaw was that kept Leonard Malton from giving us the full three stars. But alien problems do not exist here at Bear Path, a planned golf community. Four. My mailbox of values. Oh, look, everyone was sending a sheet of paper to everyone else. Now, why did they call this movie Laser Guys? <laughs> oh, it's raining porn. <laughs> Hallelujah. So what East Coast Southern California town is this? Leave the Bronx. You are ordered to leave the Bronx. <laughs> Mark Hamill in Falling Down. Ecuadorian bat boy found alive in cave. <laughs> Where am I? Isn't there an information booth around here? <laughs> or someone's got a full diaper. Oh, Tai Chi in the morning is so great. Will you help me carry this? It's really heavy. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, our reservations are at eight. Neil Diamond. Hot August nights. Don't ever make fun of my ass again. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Killed by vapor action. Really sorry about the whole South thing, Mike. You have a valid sorry. point, sir. I really do. Nuts, my thing ran out. Got a battery? My ovipositor's sore. Wow, she makes Lorraine Newman look Ruben esque. So, ever make it with a mid-level bureaucrat? Mm -hmm. Fashions from Sears. Wait, my belt's out the door! No more nights on musty blankets? I'll really miss your open shirts. <laughs> we'll play REO Speedwagon at your funeral, Billy. <laughs> this is really where he hits his stride as an actor. <laughs> I guess I should know what it is that the South would do again before I jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, that's, that's true. Would you just let that die? Yeah. Okay, let's look in Malton's book. Uh, he gives us two and a half stars. Uh, oh, my favorite year barely edges it out with three stars. Huh. Oh, look here. Hannah and her sisters is superior only by one star. Oh, wow. Oh, great. Now a tire fire starts just off camera. <coughs> okay. Oh, hey, hey, Leonard Malton mm -hmm. gave the same two and a half stars to my dinner with Andre. Mm -hmm. Name of the Rose? This is a better film than Name of the Rose. It only got two stars. <laughs> Being there, two stars. Uh, yeah. Lucas Tanner, the movie was directed by Richard Donner. Mm -hmm. I, I just mm -hmm. thought I'd point that out. Oh, good, thanks. 
times. Mm-hmm. I mean, you mean to tell me Ron Mazak and Eddie Deason get billing over Roddy McDowell? <laughs> Look, Mike, Birdman of Alcatraz, three stars, marginally better than Laser Blast. They spelled Roddy McDowell's name wrong. What else you got? Oh, here we go. Full Metal Jacket, three stars. Hmm? Shame of it. Oh, hey, Seven Samurai, two stars. What? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I hope so. According to this, A Fish Called Wanda was as good a film as Laser Blast. Oh. Broadcast news, witness, three stars, barely superior to Laser Blast. Mm-hmm. Same for Diner. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, here we go. Hey, this was a better movie than Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Two well, stars. that's possible. And the same caliber as Last Crusade, two and a half stars. Mm-hmm. And uh, and yet, blame it on the bellboy, four stars. Where? What? No, I'm kidding. No, I'm you, kidding. you cheese. So Kim Milford's greasy Popeye performance was every bit as good as F. Murray Abraham's tortured performance as Salieri in Amadeus. According to Leonard Malton, yes, my opinions. Baghdad Cafe, brilliant, subtle comedy, no better than Laser Blast. Here's where it gets hard. Harry and the Hendersons is every bit as good as Laser Blast. Carson McCullers' classic, The Heart is a Lonely Hunter, no better than Laser Blast. No. Oh, oh, oh. John Schlesinger's Oscar-winning thriller, Marathon Man, on par with Laser Blast, two and a half stars. Right, so Lawrence Olivier's chilling performance is Zell, the White Angel, no better than the butt-faced sheriff in Laser Blast. Again, according to Leonard Malton, yes, my Okay. Yeah, look here, look here. Outlaw Josie Wales and Unforgiven, Oscar-winner quintessential westerns, Eastwood at his finest. However, I think you know where we're headed with this, Mike. Uh, yeah. Same yeah. as Laser Blast, Same two and a half stars. stars. Oh, here we go. Here's a couple more. Sophie's Choice. Uh-huh. Uh, here's one. Willy Wonka Wonk and the, the Chocolate, Chocolate Factory. No. The Great Santini. Oh, all I can't believe two that. Two and a half stars. Two and a half stars. Also Same ace, quality. by the way. Yes, yes. ace. Piers to Laser Blast. Here we are at the edge of the universe. No, not quite, Mike. It's just a little bit more to go here. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, there. The edge <laughs> of the universe. Yep, and I tell you, Mike, it's everything I could have hoped for. For example, all knowledge is clear to me now. Yeah, you know, and, and all wisdom and beauty uh, fill me with an abundant light, and, and all the eternal truths of the cosmos are available with a minimum of effort. <laughs> well, hey, there's God. Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh. Hey, guys. Oh, what's up? Hey. Uh, oh, we're just at the edge of the universe. Yeah. Oh, so that's it. Uh-huh. No wonder I've suddenly become aware that I can leave my corporeal body and become pure energy, or pure thought, or reason, or pure any number of things. Oh, here, let's see. <laughs> wow, cool. Let's do it, Mike. <laughs> Just let it happen, Mike. Okay, gotcha. Ah. Yeah, that's wow. Verbal, what are you? I think I am pure energy. Hey, I'm pure energy. Ah, you're nothing but pure canola oil, you. Ah, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Mr. Pure Country, Mr. Huh? Pure Gint, Mr. No, pure well, yeah, Chewing come Satisfaction. Hey, 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 guys, come on, come on, spread out now, come on. All that matters is that we're pure and eternal. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, Gypsy, uh, Hi, hey, why don't you drop your temporal being and become pure love or something, and then we'll all go play in the edge of the universe. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Oh, oh come, come on, on Gypsy, it's, it's really fun. It's don't so be fun afraid. Have a Join body. us. Come it's on. really great. Sure, it's just that, oh, 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 my stars. <laughs> I hope I'm ready for this. I may only be 99 and 44 one hundredths percent pure. <laughs> well, that's probably good enough. Yeah, right. Let's go. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, Cambot, Magic Voice, join us. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, it's neat out here. here. It's cold. Oh, really cold. Cold. Come on, come on, energy. energy.
this wonderful baby? Oh, poopy.